morning, but Hi everybody, it's Janine here with our precious dude, Dickens. Hi buddy. Uh, Dickens just had a little workout. Looks like he's catching his breath while we do this live. <laughs> Hi everybody. Everybody who's just coming in, this is Dickens handsome dude just recovering from a little workout he's looking like uh he just ran a mile but he didn't <laughs> you're a good dude so he'll probably honestly i feel like he'll probably just stand still as we chat about him today um hey bud you're a good boy yes I'm beauty So Dickens is a, a Rocky Mountain horse. Uh, he's a registered Rocky Mountain. His uh, registered name is pretty cool. It's Havenwood's Gold Digger. He's uh, 13 years old this year, I think. Hold on. Wait, no. I can't do math. 19 years old this year. <laughs> Born in 2002. Uh, so I think in April he turns 19. He stands uh, 15, just over, just over 15 hands, closer to 15-1. Um, so of course that's measured at the withers here. So this height, Dickens is 15.1 hands. Video keeps saying that it's pausing. So if I stop talking, it's because I don't know if I'm recording or not, but uh, bear with me. You can see he has a beautiful, uh, dappled sort of blonde color very nice he actually changes color um, through the seasons right now he's really really light and you can barely see his he's got a really cool tail it's sort of like an ombre color and two big uh, I call this small stockings in the back Yeah, so Tyler you're right um, Dickens has different gates so he uh, is a pretty unique horse um, there are breeds of horses called gated breeds that don't just walk, trot, canter. They have different types of gates that are sort of inherently built in, intrinsically built in. Uh, so Dickens has a few. He does a walk. He does a pace, which is between a walk and a trot. Um, he trots beautifully, although he's very lazy, so as you can see. <laughs> um, he's got a canter. He also has sort of a, almost like a four-beat canter, which a canter by definition is. If I stop talking, it's because my, uh, my screen's paused. I don't know why. Uh, let's just check out some more details about Dickens. Honestly, I think he'll just stay on there the whole time. <laughs> So Dickens, Havenwood's gold digger. Like I said, he's 15-1. He was born in 2002. He turns 13 this year. He loves doing his gates. He loves spa days, self-care. He's big into self-care. And he's really awesome hack horse. You can take this guy through anything on a trail. He's happy to lead the way. You can point him at a bunch of bushes that have no clear path and he's happy to go through you just have to ask he loves treats he really loves our volunteer makes homemade horse treats he loves those we'll just join him as he does a little roll here like I said um, he just finished a little workout a lot of times they enjoy a roll after a workout because they're feeling sweaty and itchy. And it's just kind of a nice way to get refreshed, feel refreshed. Woo! Good boy. And they leave little, they leave little dirt angels in the ground. Now he's just gonna clean up his face. Good boy. So back, back to our details. His most favorite song is Best Friend by Sophie Tucker. 
if you guys want to look it up. It sort of represents all of his fun gates. The speed of the song, the cadence of the song. Hi, buddy. He's visiting here. Hi, bud. How are you? Are you looking for treats? Are you going to read your poster for everyone? You're a good dude. He's just a gentle guy. His best friend is Lewis. And we think his dream vacation would be to uh, go on a, an out west adventure in the mountains. To go over uh, really uneven terrain. And the rider um, isn't affected much. It's, he's very smooth to ride. He's very good to ride. He loves to please. Um, he can be hard to ride, but um, that's kind of nice for our program because with so many different gates, <laughs> he looks like he's reading his poster. With so many different gates, you have to kind of ask for them all a little bit differently. So he's pretty neat, pretty neat guy. Super sweet dude. Wouldn't hurt a fly. Um, we got him from up north um, on the Bruce Peninsula at, at Lion's Head. And uh, he was the only horse on a small hobby farm, which was, um, I think it was a sheep farm. So he had a bunch of sheep friends, two in particular. And uh, we made the long drive up to Lion's Head to meet him. We always kind of wanted a gated horse for the program because their movement is so unique. And uh, we loved him. He liked all the toys. Um, he was pretty easy to easy going to ride. So he didn't have much of a job right before us, Sarah. Um, he was just a, a pet, really. But before that, he did trail rides. Um, his name used to be Fraser. <laughs> He's falling asleep. Uh, his name used to be Fraser. He did uh, a lesson program. He did some trail rides. Somebody did a, a lot of uh, foundational training with him when he was younger. So he knows a lot of information. Um, so he was uh, let go from that trail program for whatever reason. Went to a hobby farm, which is where we found him. Um, we really liked his temperament, his demeanor, his movement. Oh my gosh, he's so sweet. Yeah, Brittany says Dickens is a much better name. I think so, too. Um, if I remember this story correctly, his previous owners, when they first got him, as I said, his name was Fraser, but uh, they turned him out in his pasture, and he, like, went crazy galloping, so happy at his new home. I don't know if anybody heard, but he got his name because of how fast he ran running like the Dickens. So that's how they named him. I really like his registered name, Havenwood Gold Digger, myself. Super sweet guy in program. He's really, really good for our advanced riders. Um, in our ride-on program, he has a beautiful canter. He lunges really lazily, um, but quite nicely, which makes him a really nice teacher. He's taught a few of our riders to canter. Um, he's a little bit tough in our uh, beginner classes only because his movement can be a lot so we usually don't uh, put brand new riders on him um, he's awesome off lead lots of kids can be um, totally independent riding this guy <laughs> he's so funny does anybody have any questions about Dickens I'm sorry he's not doing anything more exciting. Hi, buddy. You're a good boy. He really likes to do groundwork in his training. Um, he likes to walk over like obstacles, pool noodles, pylons. He likes to squeeze behind barrels and be tested sort of mentally. It's really super mentally stimulating for him. Hi, bud. Oh, he's a good boy. Dickens just saying thanks to everybody who's joining. Brittany, Brittany asked, does Dickens do Pirelli? Um, yeah, absolutely. He can do Pirelli. Um, 
His friend Megan likes to do Pirelli with him regularly. He's a little bit different. Um, if anybody knows the Pirelli system, it's about the right brain introverts. Um, but they can also be very tense. So it takes a, a little extra groundwork, a little bit extra trust to develop. Um, but this guy's a really nice therapy horse for all of those reasons. He's kind of able to put that tension aside because he knows the job that needs to be done, which is what makes him pretty special. And like I said, if we're outside, if we're walking around the back, if we're out on the sensory trail, out on the outdoor, he's just incredible. He loves to be outside. This is an outdoor horse. He's happiest when he's out hacking on the buckle, leading a group of his friends. He's a good dude that way. Um, if you look back through some of our old posts on him, you can see the different pretty colors that he changes throughout the year. He turns like a really beautiful deep gold um, in the summer with these big dapples, which are just so, so nice. So it's kind of light with his winter coat. Kate says he's the best hacking partner. Absolutely. Like, no doubt in my mind, this guy is a trail horse at heart. He loves, loves, loves to go out on an adventure. A few weeks ago, during, pop my camera freezes, but a couple weeks ago, we, uh, Decided to take advantage of some freshly fallen snow. The footing was really soft and beautiful and flat. Um, and this guy was absolutely in his element. So if there's no more questions about Dickens, I'll uh, cut this short, put him back to bed <laughs> where he looks like he wants to be. Um, we'll tell you kind of about a couple of things that are going on right now. In fairy land. So, um, I'll do this with him in the background because you're here to see him, not me. <laughs> Hi. We've got lots of eager uh, riders and volunteers ready to come back, chomping at the bit. Uh, so, our staff is busy at work planning uh, next week's program. We're so, so excited to be kind of going back to a little bit of normal. Um, the other thing we have going on right now is our March challenge. So instead of bowling for ponies, getting together at the bowling alley this year, video pause, <laughs> wellness, um, an equestrian riding challenge, a family fun challenge, or a solo individual fun challenge. And, um, all of those resources are going to be loaded to our website soon. You can register anytime throughout March. And it's a pledge-based uh, participation, so um, you just need 50 bucks to participate. So ask your family, ask your friends, uh, pay the 50, whatever. It's going to be a really, really fun month. And for every bingo uh, line on your card that gets um, completed with photo evidence, uh, you get entered into a prize draw, and we have some pretty amazing prizes coming up. So um, that's the whole month of March. We're really excited uh, to start that next week is march 1st how is that even possible but um yeah really excited big things happening finally getting back to normal um we appreciate everybody that's been tuning into our lives and um i'll just leave it at that we'll say bye to dickens thanks buddy nothing that's okay tough work i guess take care everyone stay safe be healthy. We'll see you next time.